Our social and family development minister, Masago Zulkifli, says gender equality starts at home. Oh, that's why his ministry has declared 2022 the year of celebrating Singapore families. It's also working towards strengthening family bonds and teaching young women, men to respect women. Shuri Lok tells us more. 2020 is the year of celebrating SG families. How will MSF use this occasion to nudge mindset shifts? Well, the year of celebrating uh, SG family will be led by the Family for Life Council. And they already have programs that will look at upstream uh, strengthening of families right from the point when they are dating to the point where they are getting married through the solemnizers and then later on as they have children that they want to uh, develop as, as they grow. FFL will be providing pointers, uh, guidelines, sometimes online, sometimes courses, seminars and also points, uh, times of celebration like the uh, family week that we will be having around uh, the June holidays. Families form the bedrock of our society and uh, not only are they the pillar of support, uh, providing the best support possible when you are down and to celebrate your ups but also they are the best form of transmission of values that is important to the family and I hope that one of these values that they transmit is respect for women and that as we have evolved over the years and even in Singapore through education through the proof that women can do much and they can contribute whether it's economically in politics in leadership it is time we also teach that within the family and to give that uh, respect through our voice for the potential that our girls can achieve too. What else can we do to achieve gender equality at home? Well, the first thing we have to change if it's a problem is our attitude. Uh, at home, even in you know, my community, the, the, the man is looked up as a leader. Uh, and he sees himself as a leader, but a leader develops leaders. So he should also work within that family context to make everyone a leader on their, in their own right, including his wife, which means that they have to listen to one another and not only make unilateral decisions, because there are always strengths and weaknesses of all parties involved in any team, in any family, but together they will make up for each other's weaknesses and become even stronger. So in that sense too, when we talk about uh, equality, we talk about uh, uh, at the workplace or at home, it is about building a partnership that will enable this equality to be achieved by helping each other out.